Hey guys, welcome back on my channel, RPA. Let's explore. So, guys, in the last video session, we have learned what is a basic variable and its type, what are the different methods to create it, and its shortcut key, and how we can join the two string by using the concatenate function. So, guys, in the today's video session, we gonna learn input methods and actions. Ninety-nine percent interviewer asked this question about input methods and actions so ui path provide us three input methods first is simulate type or click then second send window message and third is default method then input actions are click activity type into activity and send hotkey so guys let's start to building a workflow so that i'll i can able to explain more detail so click on the process give any name so click on create So this is our UI Path Studio. To build a new sequence, so click here. So in the activities panel, we gonna able to see a multiple activities. So right now I am taking the send hotkey. Send hotkey it is one of the input action. So uh, the main purpose of this is used to send a keyboard shortcut to the UI element. So here you are able to see the Alt, Control, Shift, Windows, and Keys. So here uh, in drop down there are multiple keys available. So we can choose as per our requirement. So currently I am clicking on the Windows and I am taking the R. So here in the properties panel, you can able to see the different different uh, features like continue on error, then delay after, delay before, then display name. So guys, uh, so let's see one by one. Continue on error. This is mostly used for to specify if the automation should be continue even when an activity thrown an error. This is support only the boolean value that is true or false and the default value of this is false if this activity is included in the try catch and the value of the continue on error property is true then no error is caught when the project is executed then delay after uh, it provide the delay <coughs> delay time after the execution of project by default it provide the 300 millisecond then delay before uh, it also provide the delay time before the activity executed and the default time is 200 millisecond. Here the display name is send hotkey. Then here you, here you are able to see activate is by default true. And now here you are able to see the send windows message. This is one of, one of the input method. So what is the purpose of this? This is mostly used to send a uh, window message to the to the target application when mouse or keyboard is used and the main benefit of this uh, our clicking or typing is occur instantly it works in the background and the strong point of this uh, send window message is it support a special keys like enter tab and other hotkeys and user can work on the other activities during the execution of the automation but it has few limitations, like it does not automatically erase the previous content, written content, and it has lower compatibility uh, other than uh, simulate type and default method. So right now I'm check this box. This is all about the properties. Send Windows message. Uh, then we'll take the next activity type into. 
type into is also one of the input method sorry input action so here we are uh, able to see the validation error because till now we didn't pass any value so first i am indicate on screen and here i am clicking this one you can pass any text so i'm passing notepad dot e x c now the validation error is gone so here you are able to see the properties panel and here this continue on error which we discussed earlier then delay after delay before display name it's edit and the activate is by default true here is empty field here we need to click once we click on this empty field the previous data will be automatically erased so if we click on this this value is true true then send window message this we earlier discussed and simulate type so simulate type is one of the input method mostly uh, used to uh, clicking and typing occurs instantly then this technology is also used to send instruction to the target application it also works in the background and this action is uh, very much faster as compared to others too and the main strong point of it can automatically erase the previous written data and user can work uh, on the other project while execution is going on but it has a few li limitation like it does not support the special keys like enter tap and other hotkeys and it has very lower compatibility so right now i'm clicking on this uh, similar type so that our uh, click type will be occur instantly now i am using the click activity here so clicking also having the same features like continue on error and this one so here i am clicking on the simulate click so that click will be occur instantly and here i am clicking on okay so once this will be done i'm again taking the type into activity so once these uh, three activity will execute our notepad will get open so i'm opening our notepad i'm just taking the here now i'm passing a value here just i'm clicking on this simulate type but if we did not did not select anything like send window message and the simulate type by default it will use the default method to run so here i'm check this box so now let's run the project and we'll see This is what this is not bad and it's occur instantly very within a very few seconds so in this way guys today's session we're gonna learn how to use the send hotkey type into activity click activity and in the properties panel what are the these input methods like send window message simulate type or simulate click and how it's work in the background and how it's will be you know execution will be fast so guys this is all about today's session in the next session we're gonna see output actions and output methods so guys keep learning keep sharing happy automation